here we are. What's up, you guys? Leah Michelle here. I am at the Facebook headquarters in New York City, my hometown. I'm so excited to be in New York. I got here yesterday. Um, I had my first concert in LA just the other day, and I have a show again tomorrow, which has been so exciting to perform these songs from my new record. And I know that there were some videos out there, so I don't know if you guys saw some of the songs that I performed, but I wanted to just hang out today and get to chat and talk about the new album and the shows that I'm gonna be doing and just answer some questions and just say hi. And I also just wanted to hang out in this really cool little set and see what it would be like to have my very own talk show, but the lights are so bright right now that I'm sort of feeling like it would not be my vibe. Um, <laughs> so let's see, let's see what, um, what questions you guys have. Um, all right, this is from Thomas and it says, oh, okay, it says, what's the title of your new album? Um, I can't say yet what the title of the new album is. However, um, we've been doing some little sneaky things here and there um, with some hints and no one has guessed it yet. It is not sentimental memories. It's not memories. <laughs> um, but uh, you guys will just have to keep guessing. But I'm, I'm feeling, like I know every time I say soon, everyone's like, if you say soon one more time. But, but I'm gonna say soon and like, it's soon. How about that? <laughs> uh, this is from Roxanne Marie. What is your favorite song on the new album? Oh my God, it's so hard to pick. It's like having children and having to say which one of your kids you like best. But maybe some people could name which kid they like best. Um, I, I have so many songs that I love on the album, but I think that there's this one song in particular called Getaway Car that I love so much. It just has a really special sentiment to me. Um, and you know, all of them are really great. I love Love is Alive. I really love Run to You. Um, these are some of the songs that I've you know done in my concerts. Uh, then there's tons of other really great ones, but I think that one just is the most personal to me, and I love it so much. Nicole asks, are you playing more shows in the U.S. this year? Yes, I will be playing more shows in the U.S. this year. Um, we haven't announced the dates yet, but we are definitely looking to do uh, more places throughout the U.S., and then hopefully... And I'm gonna also say yes to doing overseas as well because I have to come and see you guys. It's been long enough. Okay, another question. Um, this is from Daniel. It says, what was your inspiration for the new album? Okay, I really love this question because as you guys know, I've been working on this new album for literally like almost three years. And um, I really took the time to think about what I wanted this album to be and what were my inspirations for the record. And I really just thought about the women that I grew up listening to um, you know, when I was a kid, I listened to Barbara Streisand and Celine Dion, and I drew a lot of inspiration from those divas, from those women. And uh, it's sort of my own take on a really strong vocal record. So I hope that you guys like it. All right, what's next? <gasps> Fernando, he wants to know, uh, how do you find time to do it all? Record an album, act, perform. <laughs> I am, um, you know, I think I like, I live a very balanced life. I, I do do a lot, but I still make sure that I have time for me and to take care of myself and to do the things that I love to do. Um, and I think that when you carve out those time for yourself, it gives you the energy to, you know, really fit in all the other things. So I make sure that I do my yoga, I hike, I get a lot of sleep. I take good care of myself and the better care I think that you take care of yourself, the more energy you have to multitask and do a lot of different things. So, and also I know it sounds so cheesy, but I really think that when you love what you do, you can kind of make time for, for everything. Um, all right, this next question says, when will your album come out? Soon. <laughs> the album, let's see. Um, the album will come out in the next couple of months under the number five between one and five months this year. How about that? Good? I'm looking at my manager. He's like sweating in the back. Oh, he gives a thumbs up. Okay, good. There's your answer. Are you guys happy with that? Um, okay, this next question says, what songs did you write and what was the process like for you? Okay, I wrote, um, I wrote a couple songs on the record, one in particular. Um, it's called Hey You, it's a very personal song. 
uh, that was very special for me to write. It's sort of the continuation of a song called If You Say So on my first record. So that one I'm looking forward to people hearing. And the process for me includes wine, um, red wine in particular. And I, I wrote a lot with uh, my friends Ali Temposi and an, another incredible singer-songwriter named Rabel. And it, we would have to just sit around and I would drink the wine and just talk and talk about experiences and talk about things. And then Rabel would sort of start playing some music and Ali would sing a little and I would sing a little. And before we knew it, we had a song, but it really came from just hanging out and talking and figuring out like what we wanted to say. And then often I will just like free thought write and I'll just like write a lot of things and then we'll all sit together and we'll make sense of all the crazy stuff that I've put down on a piece of paper. Hannah Rose, what a pretty name. Hannah Rose says, any audition tips for high school students? Oh, it's really hard because I get really nervous when I perform. So I get it. I would just say like do your best to try and not be nervous um, because if you're not nervous and you can do your best but I know that that's so hard to say because I get so incredibly nervous. So just um, one tip that I like to do is I like to think about what I'm going to do after and when I give myself something to look forward to doing afterwards if I'm like oh my god after I'm going to go to this restaurant and get this pizza that I love then I focus on that and it helps me get less nervous. So I don't know if that's a good tip but it's what I do. So maybe it'll help you. Um, Anna Carolina asks, um, are the songs pop or more Broadway? So I, I would say it's not really a Broadway album, um, but, it's, it's so, but it's also not a super heavy pop album. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely a classic strong vocal record. It has some really great pop songs, some that are a little bit more theatrical. Um, but I would say it's not really a Broadway record. It's a Leah Michelle album, and uh, you'll see what that means in a couple of months, between one and five, <laughs> soon. <laughs> uh, Gabrielle asks, okay, what advice would you give a fan who's going through a difficult time? And it says, by the way, you've been very important to me. That's very sweet of you, thank you so much. Um, well, I guess I would have to know what kind of difficult time you're going through, but um, you know, for me, always having really close friends around has been the best medicine, and spending good quality time with people that you love. Um, finding you know the things that you love to do and doing them together and me that for me that's always like big family dinners uh, being surrounded by the people that I love eating really good food um, and also like I know it's it's but the balance between that and like working out and exercise has always put me in, in a really good mood you guys know that like I love soul cycle I love yoga and it really does like it puts me in such a good mood so like the combination you work out you eat what you want and with people that you love and that really helps um, Emil says, how many songs are on the album? I think it's 12, I want to say. 11, 12? I should probably know, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Casey says, what's the first single off your new album? Um, I think that we're debating between two right now. And what's been exciting about doing these concerts is we're getting a little bit of an idea of what people are liking. Um, but I'm really loving two of my songs, Love is Alive, Anything's Possible. I mean, maybe you guys can sort of chip in and let me know what you think. Uh, Gabe asks, okay, besides Barbara, who do you look for, who do you look to for musical inspiration? Um, I love Celine Dion. I love Alanis Morissette. I love Kelly Clarkson. I love so many female singers, obviously Adele. And that's what makes it hard because I have so many, like, women that you know that I'm influenced by in love uh, and that's what makes like recording hard sometimes for me because I wish I could make all different kinds of music right now I so love Miranda Lambert and her new album um, but you know got to give it to Celine she's really the best Julia says any advice for stage fright Ugh. how old are you Julia can you have a little glass of wine <laughs> um, look that's tough if there's really nothing I can't say I'm still figuring it out myself so you know again I try to think of what I want to do afterwards plan something fun take it easy don't put pressure on yourself you know but it's a uh, stage fright is, is hard maybe it's just hopefully something that over time will mature itself out of the picture I wish I could help more than that if you have any advice they'll pass it along to me 
Georgette, is this my cousin Georgette? <laughs> Georgette asks, um, how is shooting the music video and are you planning on shooting any other videos for other songs? Um, it was super fun. You'll be seeing a sneak peek soon. And uh, yeah, I want to shoot tons of videos. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and you know, hopefully we'll be doing a lot more soon for that. Uh, Lauren Eve says, are you coming to Australia to support your album? Am I coming to Australia to support my album? Okay, the important people from behind the scenes are saying, hopefully, yes. So there you go. I mean, my plan is to go as many places as I can. Got to get to London. I got to get to Brazil. I got to get to Italy. And hopefully everyone. So yes. Uh, LJ Ford, OK, what are the photos you're posting over the past couple of days hinting at? Hmm. The photos are hinting at something to do with the album. Maybe the title, I would say. I'd, I'd say the title. <laughs> yes, it's, it's hinting towards the title. <laughs> Um, and you'll and you'll find out what that is soon. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, I mean, I wish I could give more information about it, but I think it's been kind of interesting just posting these pictures, and they're all really important to me. Um, each one of these photos is, you know, a specific moment in my life and they all mean something. And eventually, um, I will tell you what they all mean. Even if it just looks like a picture, it, it was a moment for me that was very pivotal. Um, and obviously, they're in chronological order, so coming close to 2017. Um, OK, Taya Allison asks, any plans for movies in the future? Um, I mean, I would really love to. I'd love to paint myself completely green and do a specific movie on a broomstick, uh, but we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, and you know, I I I think that you know I'm so grateful that I get to sing, I get to do TV, and movies would be incredible too. Right now, I just really want to focus on this record and touring and getting to see all of you guys. So that's my goal for at least the beginning half of this year. Uh, this next question, if you could make a duet with any of the Glee members to sing one of your songs, who would it be and which song? Well, I, I know that Darren's always wanted to sing Battlefield with me. <laughs> he actually wanted to do Battlefield on Glee, which I thought would have been so great because one of my favorite things on Glee was when like girls did boys' songs or when boys did girls' songs. Um, like when the boys sang, do you know what it feels like for a girl? Um, in the Madonna episode. Like, I thought that that was just such an interesting new version. Um, and so I thought it would have been cool. So I, I would definitely do, because wouldn't it be interesting? Oh, I'm getting the chills. Oh my God, we have to do this. I'm going to text Darren. Um, but we had, like, to do like a male female battlefield, like from a guy's perspective and a girl's perspective. Oh my God, we're doing it. Okay, I'm talking to him about it today. This is such a good idea. I would call him right now, but he's probably in like somewhere across the globe. Did I tell you guys? I think I told you that he was on a vacation and on, like at the stroke of midnight they started playing my version of Old Lang Syne. He sent me this video. So cute. Okay, anyway, sorry. Just got a good idea. <laughs> okay, Libby, can you please explain what Getaway Car is all about? Getaway Car is a song about, so for me, like I have a lot of memories of falling in love, driving around with, you know, boys that I've loved and uh, you know, it's just about getting in a car and kind of escaping LA and getting to have, you know, just a moment between two people. And it's a very special song for me. Um, and it's also really just about the kind of love where you could like live in a cardboard box with someone and you'd be happy just in there with them. And that's what that song means to me. Like, we don't need anything but just the two of us. And so that's why I love it. Uh, Diana asks, if you weren't a singer actress, what would you do instead? Um, I would love to be a chef, or I think I'd make a pretty good lawyer, or maybe a chef lawyer. I hear that, that that's a pretty, uh, pretty good combo. So yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what other good questions about the album? Or oh my gosh, I think we only have time for one more. I hope it's a good one. 
uh, let's see, should be about the album or about the songs or about tours coming up? Okay, let's see. Okay, this is a really good question. Um, it's from Kayla, Kala, K-A-L-A, -A. pretty name. Uh, what are you most excited about from this for this upcoming year? Okay, so I really am, and I know I've been saying it a lot, but I'm the most excited about getting to perform and perform all over the world for you guys. Um, even in, after doing just one show, I had the best night. It was so special. It was so incredible to just get to sing again and to perform. So I look forward to doing that this year and for the rest of my life. So, all right, you guys, I have to go now. I'm sorry. Um, I hope I gave you a little bit more information about everything. I think that I did. <laughs> but I really thank you guys so much for joining me today, my Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to go and rest my voice now because I have a concert tomorrow. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks for supporting me. And I can't wait for you to hear this album. I can't wait for you to know the title. I can't wait for you to see the cover of the album. Oh my god, it's my favorite. And um, I love you guys so much. See you soon.